Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to lower your triglycerides. Now first I'll start off by explaining basically what triglyceri triglycerides are. Triglycerides are basically fats that are in your blood. Now you do need some of them to be healthy in order to be considered as being healthy. But if you have too much of them or if your triglyceride levels are too high, that's when it becomes detrimental to your health and you have to lower them if your triglycerides are too high. So with that being said, I'm gonna tell you five simple things that you can do to lower your triglycerides fast. Now you have to do these things, you have to incorporate them into your daily lifestyle, but if you do them, they will bring your triglyceride levels down. The first thing is cut down on sugars. Sugars are basically the primary contributing factor to high triglyceride levels. So if sugars are basically what cause your triglyceride levels to, to creep up really quickly, then in order to bring your triglycerides down, what you have to do is reduce your sugars. Now there are many things that you can do to reduce your sugars, but the most simplistic ones are taking away those high sugar snacks. So if you're eating any snacks that are high in sugar, just remove them. They're not part of your meal. They're just a snack. They're an add-on to what you've already had to eat. So just get rid of them completely. And the second thing is if you drink coffee or tea and you put sugar in your coffee or tea, just drink your coffee or tea without sugar. I know that it has a completely different taste. I know that it completely changes the way that it tastes in your mouth, but you might as well make a small change for a great reward. So the first thing is reduce sugar. Number two is exercise. Now when you exercise, you're gonna be burning off the carbs and the sugar in your body, which means that there will be less carbs and sugar to to be stored away in your body, which will bring your triglycerides down. Now exercising can be very simple. It can be something as simple as going for a power walk or a quick walk on your lunch break, or it can be more intense and more complex. It can be, you know, doing a six day per week workout that involves cardio and targeting different muscle groups. It, it all depends on your lifestyle, but the important thing is to elevate your heart rate and work out to raise your heart rate because what that will do is that will help you uh, once again get rid of those sugars and fats in your body those sugars and carbs in your body not allow them to be stored away and it will in in change bring your triglyceride levels down the third thing is fiber you need to eat more foods that are high in fiber you need to consume more fiber now this can be something as simple as eating a cereal that has a lot of fiber in it or it can be uh, something as complex as taking a fiber supplement. It all depends once again on your lifestyle and what your doctor recommends. But at the, in its most simplest form, I would recommend that you consume fiber at least in the foods that you eat. So eat lots of vegetables that are higher in fiber, eat a cereal in the morning that's high in fiber, but fiber will help to move the calories through your body, which means that your body will once again uh, ha have fewer calories to sort of store away and, and to, to convert to triglycerides. It will, in change, lower your triglyceride levels. Uh, the fourth thing on this list that will lower your triglyceride levels is to lose some weight. Now, by losing weight, it won't automatically lower your triglycerides, meaning if you just automatically get rid of 10 pounds of fat from your body, magically, your triglyceride levels are not gonna be lowered as a result of having less fat in your body. But in order to lose weight, you have to eat healthier foods, you have to consume fewer calories and fewer bad calories in specific, and you also have to uh, elevate your heart rate to burn more of those calories in your body. So by losing weight, you're gonna be doing all of those things that are associated with lowering your triglycerides. So losing weight in itself won't bring down your triglycerides, but what you do to lose the weight will bring down your triglycerides. Just to clarify, um, once again, that it is basically a correlation kind of relationship, not a causality relationship. Losing weight will not cause your triglyceride levels to come down, um, but, but losing weight and the things that are associated with losing weight is correlated to bringing down your triglyceride levels. And the last thing on this list, number five, and this is one of the easiest things to do, is eat more fish that are high in omega-3s. So there are many different fish that are high in omega-3s, uh, certain types of tuna, uh, herring is, is, is a type of fish, uh, mackerel. There are a few types of fish that are high in omega-3s, but if you're eating a meal that consists of 
meat, let's say you're eating chicken and rice, you can just swap out that chicken for some fish that is high in omega-3s and that will help bring down your triglyceride levels. And that's basically it. In this video, I just wanted to tell you how to lower your triglyceride levels. I started off by basically explaining what triglycerides were and that you need some of them, but too much of them is a bad thing. And I also went over five simple things that you can do to lower your triglyceride levels. Once again, these are five things that you should be incorporating into your daily life. If you want to bring down your triglycerides and lower your triglycerides, then what you need to do is incorporate these daily make a conscious effort and a dedicated effort to incorporate these practical tips and these practical things into your daily lifestyle and your triglyceride levels will drop down you'll look better you'll feel better you'll be healthy and you will lower your triglyceride levels and that's basically it I really hope that you've enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and that's all I have for you today thanks for watching